We are at two weeks without a Speaker of the House, and this is a very inopportune time. We have the war between Israel and Hamas. We have the war between Russia and Ukraine. We have our own budget problems that are coming to a head soon, and if they aren't addressed, our government will shut down. Now, we know Republicans aren't really that good at legislating, but this is embarrassing for them because they can't even unify enough to find one leader, a Speaker of the House. Jim Jordan just lost on the first ballot. 20 Republicans voted against him. He needed 217 votes. He got 200. So he's a long ways away. Let's remember Kevin McCarthy, when he started out, he had 19 people going against him. He had 15 votes and it took a week. I don't think we have a week to wait for this situation. The question is, how did the Republicans get in this position? Well, the Republican caucus is what, like 222 people and maybe 30 of them are the Freedom Caucus or MAGA? When it came down to it, Kevin McCarthy got booted out of his position by eight MAGA fuck votes. Eight of them. So Kevin McCarthy's gone. Now they're trying to bring up Steve Scalise. He doesn't make it because of eight MAGA fuck votes. Then Jim Jordan gets elevated to the point where we can vote on him, mainly because he's in with, he's buddies with the MAGA fucks, and it's because of their eight votes. So think about that. You have 222 Republicans in the House and eight people are dictating what you do. And what they want to do is fucking dangerous. They want to elect Jim Jordan, who's about the big lie, insurrection, overturning elections, undermining democracy. He is the absolute worst choice for Speaker of the House, but the Freedom Caucus and MAGA want him. So why in the world are the Republicans bending to them? They've been doing it for the last six years. Is it now that they're going to realize, hey, we need to step away from this. We need to stop this shit, but we also need to get to business and get a Speaker of the House. So what do they do if Jim Jordan doesn't get elected? And let's keep our fingers crossed and hope he doesn't. Well, the only real option now is that some of the Republicans, the reasonable Republicans, go to the Democrats and say, we got to do something here. we got to straighten this out. We need your help. Because nothing's going to get done without the help of the Democrats. They just have to own up to that now. So one way out of this, if Jim Jordan can't get the votes, and it doesn't look like he can, is for the Republicans and the Democrats to agree to give McHenry, the Speaker pro tempore, Give him more power so they at least can do business in the House. For how long? I don't know. Who cares? But it makes it happen right away. And then we can get down to dealing with Israel and dealing with Ukraine and dealing with our own budget issues. McHenry is a Republican. He's a buddy of Kevin McCarthy's. He's not a great guy, but he's not as bad as fucking Jim Jordan. So that may be the option. Maybe that's what they do. We'll see if Jim Jordan can whip some votes and get more people voting for him, but he's got a long way to go, and we don't have that much time to get this fucker done. We can't wait a week to elect the next Speaker of the House.